Welcome to Thermal Integration Made Easy, a video and download series that covers everything you need to know about integrating Teledyne FLIR thermal camera modules. Today, we're going to cover software integration with Boson and Boson Plus, and how the GUI can simplify and streamline the development process. There are many resources available to support integration at fleer.com slash boson. Another great resource is our support center found at fleer.com slash custhelp. Please note that all links will be included in the video description. Let's get started. The Boson GUI, which provides the ability to quickly access settings critical to high-speed integration cycles. Note that Windows 10 64-bit or newer is required to operate the Boson GUI. Integrators with the original Boson models require GUI 3.x and older, while Boson Plus models require GUI 4 and newer. To download the appropriate GUI and see the quick start guides at fleer.com slash boson. The Boson SDK can be used on Windows and Linux systems and works using USB, UART, or I2C. The SDK is easiest to use on Python, but some libraries require compilation depending on the platform. Python provides a convenient command line interface for accessing camera API and set functions. Refer to the SDK documentation for specific commands and expected inputs or return values. The Boson SDK does not support video. Use OpenCV or a similar UVC library for streaming video or taking captures programmatically. The built-in Windows camera app, webcam viewer, or similar webcam streaming application supports Boson's colorized post AGC video. Please see the video description for a link to the latest complete software IDD with a step-by-step -step process. While most functions remain the same, typically new functionality will be introduced in each release. For example, the most recent SDK now allows multiple cameras to be accessed in a single instance of the SDK. Please be sure to routinely check in for helpful SDK updates. If the SDK requires too much memory overhead to implement or only a limited number of commands are needed, you can optimize performance by sending byte strings to the camera. Teledyne FLIR offers an example at github.com slash FLIR slash rawbosom on how to construct byte strings commands using the SDK commands from scratch without the SDK. There are three types of commands, run, set, and get. Run commands do not require an argument, Run FFC is an ideal command for debugging because the mechanical shutter can be heard when the command is successfully executed. Set commands require a specific data type and argument. Set commands are used very commonly for setting parameters like AGC settings, video mode, gain mode, and other runtime configurable settings that change how the camera works. Get commands return a specific data type. Get commands allow you to query the current state of the camera or gather needed diagnostic or statistics from the camera during runtime. They can also be used to confirm camera settings have changed after using set commands. It is required to initialize variables with the correct data type and structure to grab data from get commands. To use the Python SDK, open PowerShell in the folder containing the SDK. Shift right click open PowerShell. Make sure Python 3.5 or greater is installed and the installation path is added to the path environment variable. Then find your Boson COM port by looking in the device manager. This wraps up our episode on software integration. For additional support, you can find more videos and application notes at fleer.com slash time or visit fleer.com slash custhelp for technical support. Be sure to tune in to other episodes to learn more about Boson, Boson Plus, and other Teledyne FLIR thermal camera module integration. Please subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.